Hello YouTubers. Well, uh, my friend Jimbo made me this winch pole. And he kind of sprung it on me as a surprise. I mean, he supplied the, the pipe, the sucker rod, he did all the welding, put the plate on it. There's going to be a, this is to let my, to let my uh, main tower over here up and down. There's going to be an ATV winch. One of them 3,000 pound little ATV winches attached to it to let it uh, up and down with. My tire is on a breakover. I, don't know if you, I guess you can kind of see that. It's kind of them, them brackets that are available here in the U.S. You can. It, it's kind of hard to find the brackets by themselves. Usually you got to get one of them three and a half feet, you know, pieces of Rome 25Z tire, which is what I did. The pole went out pretty easy. Like I said, my friends pretty much, they did all the work, delivered it, did most of the raising. I think all, about all I did was supply the four-wheeler to, to pull it up with. There's the large pulley block. It belongs to my friend Jimbo that we raised it with. There's the pulley that uh, attaches to the pole to let it down. All I gotta do is let the back bolt out and then break it over. But, yeah, and there's my uh, 21 bags of, well, see, 20 80 pound bags and one 60 pound bag of concrete just for the pole, and I count what that concrete pad is. <laughs> we did run into a problem. When he's doing this, I had too much of an angle out in the yard. And we got that pulley block caught up into the leg of the tower. And of course, you know, Roscoe and Jimbo were trying to control the uh, the pole here out to the side. And I was looking at them to know what speed. And I really couldn't tell I had much of a load. But I noticed it wasn't going up very fast. All of a sudden, it got real slow. And well, we got that pinched in there. And I was pulling the whole tower down. I looked up and the tower looked, you know, worse than the leaning tower of Pisa. As you can see, it really, it really boogered the rear leg up, or the bolt goes through. It egged this one over here a little bit upwards on the inside. I don't know if it's really going to show up or not. Probably not on the video. Uh, this side's okay. I look down in it. I don't see any problems. So we're gonna have to. I'm breaking it over with my four-wheeler on a piece of rope. I'm gonna pull the four-wheeler over here and hook on because uh, Jimbo's got some pieces of solid bar stock for me that once we break this over, he's gonna have the holes pre-drilled and everything and it's, they're gonna go down below, you know, the concrete pad, uh, bolt the opposite direction here. And then this is going to reattach via via that bar stock. We'll have to straighten this out, you know, back here some. The, these two are okay. And this is just to keep it from flexing. It, really, it was an apparatus I built for. It wasn't really necessary, but I went ahead and I went ahead and did it since there's a little bit of gap there. But since I uh, I didn't leave much gap from here, the concrete pad to the hinge point, it, it didn't flex any when it went up. But part of the reason for this, 94 mile per hour winds, uh, April this year really messed my delta loop up, bent my mast, and uh, well, you know, like I said, my friends wanted to do this for me so I could let this up and down myself, and you know, not have to get help, you know, get a bunch of people together to walk this up and down. So this is to make it automated, and today I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do it with my uh, Sportsman 700. I mean, it pulled the pipe up easy peasy, and the pipe probably weighs more than what the, uh, that's three inch oil field pipe with solid sucker rod backbone. It probably weighs more than the tower does. So I've only got 30 foot of Rome 25. Here's my rotor. A two element delta loop, super light. I'm, I'm using a lightweight mast as well. So we'll see how this goes. I mean, it walked up and down easy. So I think the, uh, I think the four wheel drive 700 should be able to do it. Hello, YouTubers. Well, here we go. I'm definitely not the world's best on this. Yes, please don't laugh at my knot. I know it's not uh, the greatest looking thing here in the world. Oh, Lord, didn't notice that. But this is more than enough rope, heavy enough rope for what I'm doing. It's not, I had to come over a little further towards the tower than I'd like because that pulley block, you know, we situated it for straight pull from the bottom, so. 
I hope this works. If not, well, I'll be off the air. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, there we have it. Uh, I know most of you would like to see action video of this in the process. I'd love to do that, but that's not going to happen because uh, I don't I don't have any help with me today. So I just uh, hooked it up to the four wheeler and uh, I'm going to give this a shot. Hello, YouTubers. Now, I think I've got my camera messed up. I think I've got it swapped around, so I'm going to have to. Oh my God! I hope I don't have to run this through video editing software because I stink at it. Anyways. Oh man, this thing ain't working right. I think the image is swapped around on its side, but I got it broke over. It was actually extremely easy. I couldn't hardly believe it. Uh, winch pole didn't even budge. It uh, didn't even act like it had anything on it, to be honest. <laughs> so, but uh, there's my breakover apparatus. And there is my major damage that's going to have to be fixed. It was eh, one of those things. We we just we we had a bubble moment. That's all I can say when that happened. Looks like that one's not elongated much at all. I thought it was, but it's I don't think it is. So yeah, tiny hair at most, if any. So I think this is the one we're gonna put solid bar stock in all these though. Re re reform that one out as best we can to get the bar stock in there and it's boogered up bad. But anyways. There you have it, the old Sportsman 700 didn't even grind under it. 73's everybody. <laughs>